Hi there, welcome to 15 degrees. And it's kind of like a, a welcome back. I haven't been able to do any videos over the summer. The potatoes were good. Um, I, and the last video in the vegetable patch, um, I think it was about, we were digging a trench and then putting green waste in. And then that was gonna break down. And that's actually breaking down because we're in winter. So I did that middle of summer. Oh, that was right. You just reminded me. We planted sweet corn on top of it. Again, the sweet corn, it was okay. Um, I wasn't that impressed with that particular variety and I will put it in the descriptions what I used and I would never use it again. I think it was called Super Sweet. Um, so next summer we won't be using that particular, particular seed. So I've been digging the path that used to be alongside the shade cloth and that is so I just get a few more rows of seedlings diff um, three or four different types of veggies and that'll I can't go too big with this vegetable patch because I haven't got enough water but it has been raining for oh, over two months we've had good rain so if I can't grow anything this winter then I should just give up but I've got some success already um, so I'm pleased with that now I've been digging this and I'm coming to the end and I'm absolutely shattered and I have been coming against stuff like this. So when somebody says, oh, I'm going to go Garden of Eden or no-till or even permaculture, you've got to do some work, some basic work before you start growing. So you've got to clear your vegetable patch of stuff like this. So we're going to use them for filling in some walls, a little bit of retaining walls or anything like that, we can use the bigger sandstone stones. So we've got sugar peas. Again, I'll put the description of what they are. They're a year old MCs. So I bought them last year. I sowed them last year. I did quite well last year. And I've kept a packet and I've sown them again. These are just general garden bean sorry garden peas again they're growing quicker than sugar peas and that's something to note so again you need to write down the times that you sowed them and what they are so you know what they are because they look very similar especially with peas and carrots so then we're on to carrots and we'll just put it over here So we've got carrots and they're about a week old, week, yeah, two weeks, two weeks old. And I've got three different varieties there. Again, in the descriptions, if you're interested, you can see the varieties. This is Southeast Queensland, not the UK. Then I've got beetroot, I've got the cylinder type, and then I've got the more rounded, like Moulin Rouge, I think, kind of beetroot. And again, I've actually planted them 100 mil space with a dibbling stick, I've, I've poked the hole down and then I've dropped the one seed into the hole because the germination is really good on beetroot in this area. So again, this all this soil has had work over the last two years of putting organic matter in and, and horse manure. I've done, um, I've done every season I've done some work and I've used blood and bone as a fertilizer every time I've lightly tilled the soil. The tomatoes, all them tomatoes in there are, are found in people's gardens or found in my vegetable patch. I have not bought any tomato or tomato seeds. Two years ago I could not grow tomatoes. I, I could not keep tomatoes growing. Now since last year, I can grow tomatoes. Don't know why. I can maybe change the method. I've got a bit of fruit fly damage there. You can see that is fruit fly. I'll pick that off and feed that to my chickens. But yes, again, People sometimes use this as a cover crop. I definitely don't use it as a cover crop, but sweet potato. 
was told by a man from Mount Tambourine it's the best thing to grow down here in Tambourine so I planted a little tiny off cut and it's now spreading out through my vegetable patch again I just pull that up and I will this year grow some cabbages through that and I and I'll get a good result I'm, I'm almost saying the cabbages will grow th through the cover crop of sweet potato just like last year last year's video I think it was the second one I did explain I was trying to do companion planting so this year I'm trying not to I'm trying to like growing the leeks I'm just growing a row of leeks I like things to be neat I don't like that where you've got jack pumpkin growing all along that bank it's growing all across to the water tanks along the fence and that is what that's a month month two months growth I've had some really good pumpkins at the end of the video I'll put a picture of my biggest pumpkin I've ever grown but again it's a jack pumpkin uh, for some reason I think I'm cheating when I get a jack pumpkin and I like to have Queensland blue 